This is page 306. Please read along with me. Solving equations that represent geometric concepts. You can write equations to represent geometric relationships. Recall that a straight line has an angle measure of 180 degrees. Two angles whose measures have a sum of 180 degrees are called supplementary angles. Two angles whose measure have a sum of 90 degrees are called complementary angles. I'm going to go ahead and um, make a little whiteboard and kind of do some teaching here before we try, try to practice these. These are some pretty important concepts here. I want to go over them. So here's our whiteboard. And everyone knows that there's 160 degrees in a circle. So if we draw a circle, the entire thing has a measure of 360. I'm not sure if I just said that right. The entire circle has a measure of 360 degrees. So what if we bisect that circle? So if we go just halfway around a circle like this, it is 180 degrees. So what we're, what we're saying here is that if two angles, two angles whose measures have a sum of 180 degrees are called supplementary. So let's pretend that I have, let me go ahead and um, erase. Let's pretend that I have a straight line here and then I have a line going like this. Well, this angle plus this angle would make a straight line. You can see that if I just kind of didn't stop right there, if I went through, it'd be 180. So let's pretend this angle was 60 degrees. What would this one be? Well, what we would do is we'd write an equation, 60 plus x or y or I don't know, equals 180. Because whatever this is has to combine with 60 to make 180. So that's the definition of supplementary. Complementary is the same thing except for it's just a 90. So once again, you know that a full circle is 360 degrees. Well, a half a circle would be 180. What about a fourth of a circle? Well, that's just going to be 90. And you know that for several reasons. One, this is a right angle, and a right angle has 90. And then the other reason that's 90 is because 90 times 4 is 360. 90 and 90 would be 180. And another 90 and another 90 would, all, would be another 180. That adds up to a total of 360. Well, this definition of complementary right here is when two angles whose measures have a sum of 90, those add up to 90. So what that would look like would be from here to here is 90. But let's pretend that I have something bisecting that angle that's like this. Well, if this is 45 degrees, what is this one right here? Well, it also is 45 degrees because the equation would look like this. 45 plus x has to be 90. What does x have to be? Well, that would have to be 45. We're going to go through the rest of this page now. You should have a basic understanding of what complementary and supplementary mean. We already did this one on example 3. It says find the measure of the unknown angle. It says write the information in the boxes. Well, the unknown angle x right here... This, this guy right here, x, we don't know it. We don't know what that angle is. Plus 60 has to be 180 because we just talked about how a straight line, this line right here, if I do the whole thing, it's a measure of 180 degrees. Well, this part of it is 60, and then this part of it is unknown. So we do the unknown plus 60 equals 180. And how, would, how do we solve that? Well, we solve it by subtraction. I'm going to go down here. Here's the equation. I'm going to rewrite it right here in the white space. The equation is x plus 60 is 180. Do you remember from the previous page when we have an addition equation we solve by subtracting? So I'm going to subtract the number that's being added to x. I'm going to subtract 60. I'm going to subtract that from both sides of the equal sign. So 60 minus 60 is, is nothing, which means x is all by itself, which is our whole point. And 180 minus 60 is 120. And that should make sense, because if you go back up to the picture, if I put 120 in right here, 60 plus 120 has a sum of 180. That's what that has to be to make the whole statement true. Those two angles are supplementary, because supplementary means they add up to 180 degrees. We've got two problems here at the bottom. We've got... Um, Number six reads, write and solve an equation to find the measure of the unknown angle. So let's pretend that this information was missing and this was missing. And let's pretend we didn't even have this line right here. What kind of angle is that? 
it is a right angle which has a sum of 90. So those two angles combined have to add up to 90. So part of the equation is going to be equals 90. Now if you're confused about, well, how come you were just talking about 180 and now you're changing it to 90? Well, the reason why we're changing it is because uh, this is not a straight line. A straight line problem would look like this. These two angles right here would add up to 180. This is a right angle. The one we're working on here is a right angle. So it's not going to have a sum of 180. It's going to have a sum of 90. So the problem is actually going to be just x plus 65 is equal to 90. We were supposed to write and solve it. How I'm going to solve this is I'm going to subtract the number that's added to x, that's 65, from both sides of the equation. And uh, plus 65 minus 65, those cancel. That isolates x. x is by itself. x is going to be equal to 90 minus 65. The difference between 90 and 65 is 25. I can prove that. Uh, I would borrow here from the 9, making this 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, and 8 minus 6 is 2. The answer is 25. And you could check that various ways. You could just add up what 65 plus 25. Well, it's 60. Oh, that's not right. It's 65 plus 25. Adds up to 90. That's what it needs to add up to. So that's the correct answer to number 6. We had to do two things here. We had to write the equation, and then we had to solve it. Number seven says, write and solve an equation to find the complement of an angle that measures 42 degrees. The word complement here is the key. Complement is short for complementary. And at the top of the page, the word complementary indicates two angles who add up complementary. Complementary means two angles that have a sum of 90. Ninety degrees. So what we're doing here for number seven is we're going to add up our unknown plus forty-two. We're finding the complement of forty-two. So we're adding up forty-two plus I'm sorry, x plus forty-two is equal to ninety. Now where am I getting ninety from this word complement right here? And I'll remind you once again when we have an addition equation, we solve by subtracting. So we subtract the number that goes with x. And that's minus 42. I do that from both sides of the equation. 42 minus 42 isolates x. 90 minus 42, again, requires borrowing. I borrow from the 9, making it 8. And so I have 10 minus 2, that's 8. And 8 minus 4, that's 8. I get 48. So I have to do two things on this line. I had to write and solve the equation. The, the equation was x plus 42 equals 90. And the answer is that x is equal to 48. I'm going to prove that on a calculator. 48 plus 42 is 90. Cool. So what you've learned on this page is you've learned what supplementary and complementary angles are. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. And you learned how we can write equations and solve equations. Um, out of those kinds of problems. Good job. You are done with page 306.